dad. Father. Padre. 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 You are my father. I've searched for years and years for you. Exactly. My father is here today. <laughs> It's not funny. I've missed you so much. Uh, no, I, was, no, I still no, remember no. when you left, you spat out my face and said, Listen, Nico, you're going to be worthless. You're going to be useless. You're never going to achieve anything in life. But I still loved you through it all. My guy. Have a nice day, Father. I so what's your name? I'm Nico Milana, and I snuck into the KSI v Logan Paul fight twice. Which now has me banned. Wait, how do you know this? Well, I got an email. Welcome back. How you doing? What is up, YouTube? I'm Louisa21, I'm your host. Forget another video and... Who is that? Sorry, I'm, I'm getting crazy being at home all the time. Like, the minute I see someone walk past, I'm like, who's that? Um... Well, are you? It's weird, man. It's weird out there, man. Guy walking past with a mask. Oh no, you walk past someone else. Two people just walk past each other. That is unheard of these days. Like you'd be watching the film, see two people just shake hands, you're like, "What are you doing?" No, don't do that. It's so weird the world we live in. But I'm not here to talk about that. The big C, the letter C, that will get your video demonetized that we cannot use, ever. So I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite YouTubers, probably the best of 2019. He's a prankster, goes by the name Nico Milana, if I said that right. <laughs> so gas, guys. I got merch, like, three years ago, I never thought I'd have merch, let alone this many subscribers on my YouTube channel that still functioned. He pranks other YouTubers and his friends and he just takes it to the next level. He even took it as far as to get in the ring at the Logan Paul KSI fight. Or try to anyway, and get kicked out by security. And then get blocked by a match from boxing from any of their fights. But then he ignored all that and went and jumped in the ring at the Jake Paul Addison Gibb fight. And yeah. He wore a disguise, it was crazy. Dressed up as, as an Arab and flagged his way in. Flagged his way in. See, Mashroom got my name blacklisted from every single event during the fight week. So I needed to work out a way to get myself back on that guest list. I mean, I'm good friends with Gib, I'm actually the only YouTuber who's knocked him to the ground. However, he couldn't help me. But luckily, a mysterious YouTuber who doesn't use their real name online got me on that list under the name Reng Saeed. <laughs> It's a great name. And he's just a legend because who has the nerve to do that? And he just gets away with it as well. Like, he forced, he tricked um, Jake Paul and um, Shannon Briggs into saying, I'm a nonce. And they thought it meant I'm a champion in Welsh or something. He's like, say, I'm a nonce. Like the, way, like the way they were saying it. So they wouldn't know. Well, they didn't know what the word meant. So it, they both said, I'm a nonce on camera. And... Shannon Briggs did want to break his legs. But Nico somehow got away with it and... Yeah, but it's just crazy the things he does. I've got some of his videos here to show you guys and a bit of my reaction to them. But I'm just going to really let you watch them. Oh, there's another guy walking past. What is going on today? It's really busy out there. Three people now and a cat. There was a cat earlier. But yeah, Nico and Milano is the guy to watch. I'm going to roll through his clips and I'll see you here soon. Um, remember your face. Sorry? You bullied me in high school. Oh, yeah, sorry, man. Thank you, man. Oh, my gosh. Uh, have, uh, what? That work? Thanks for the love, man. Have a nice day in New York City. Thanks. Even though you didn't actually bully me, I just made it up. But thank you. I so I clutched his drawers and tried to remind him. Last time we had a conversation about the N word. Oh, I remember you now. <laughs> yes! I'm not a nobody! He remembers me! To me, I was trying to be funny, you know, like I just used the word so flippantly, like yeah. I thought later like I could come across as callous. Yes, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. He apologized. After everything that happened last time, it seems the cowboy has changed his ways. 
and I wanted to give him the chance to say his piece. He's re fought his views and he's decided to say it to you guys. Alright. Uh, so shush, anyway. shush. Nah, we're good. We're great. Have a great day, my friend. Ah! My friend, wait. We're part of the Tree Foundation. What? Did you see him as well? This is a special guy. He's a midget though. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you know the tree foundation yeah, like the yeah. work which we do around the country yeah okay well you're obviously so I made sure that was not a possibility by standing up and pointing AJ out so I got myself out of the line of fire and made sure it was directed only towards AJ and this was the moment both me and Lawai have been waiting for <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? All sorted, just for you. Everything, just for you. I just want to let you know, you're my heart, you're my soul, you're my everything. Okay. What's going on? Okay. Okay. It's big, alright? This is all for you. Okay. You what? What, we put it No. Everyone was standing there in complete disbelief and I was just standing there letting the awkwardness build up. I was loving it. They were all staring at me for no reason. The mariachi band were completely baffled and you could just see they had no idea what to say to me. Was worthy of his title. Nice room box. We're on the upper level now. What is the zone VIP booth? It's all the VIP. Excellent, thank you. you but did I make it? <laughs> we made it in! And everyone was gassed! Hey, hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, my friend? How you doing? I'm here with just a mini line. Yes, that's me, that's me. Hello, all the girls. What's good, man? Oh my god. Can I have permission to shag Ali's sister? He's my cousin. That's what I mean. I already have done it. Oh, you know what? I'm a big fan. 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 No, 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 grab, grab, grab. Leave. Grab. Leave. Grab. Leave. Grab. Leave. Grab. Leave. No, that's not. No. Why take my glasses off? I'm taking them to the police. You've been banned. You've been sending on your Instagram. You don't. You know now you're in violation. Now you get arrested. Come on. What do you mean? What do you mean? Round of applause! <laughs> this security guy just committed theft, which is an actual crime. He took my phone and listened to this stupid excuse. He bugged out. You're not gonna use it as a weapon on me. I was just disarming you from a weapon. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was just gonna get my phone back. No, no, no. All calm, all calm. We have found Nico. We're kicking him off the property. Well, well, well. Did you enjoy that, guys? Because he's one of my favourite. I cannot get over the craziness he gets up to. And the nerve, like, there's a normal threshold that you don't cross, like, with these kind of videos, but he sets that bar so high that, yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and big up the British YouTubers because we are taking over. We've always been here since the beginning. KSI, back in the day, 2012. Um, and speaking of KSI, uh, Nico even had the nerve to prank the sidemen and they, he got them good because it was on their Dragon's Den special where they're like trying this, these cakes that he's made and turns out they've got ghost peppers in them and oh my god I haven't laughed so much in years so yeah go and watch Nico and Milana you've got plenty of time there's a few of them I've shown that are really good like where he, um, he goes to a Trump rally that was crazy that 
he had some nerve doing that. Uh, but the people were just crazy there, man. At uh, that, that Trump rally. Um, not to say all people that voted Trump are crazy. Um, but yeah, most of them in that video were crazy. And he suffered because of it, but he did it for the views, for, for his fans. And I'm telling you about another YouTuber that I look up to because that's what I, I see in you guys, you know. I've got to tell you about what I'm watching, you know, because you've got to see that reflected in my content sometimes. Not that I play many pranks, but it's the guys I look up to, just so you know. While I've got the time to talk about these guys, I might as well. Because end of these 12 weeks, I'm getting back out of there and I'm vlogging. I do not care. And then I'm going to take a nice break from YouTube because I'm grinding all the time here. And these 12 weeks are going to be annoying for a lot of people. And it has been so far, but we've got to deal with it. And people like Nico and Milano are getting me through it. So go subscribe, smash the like button on my channel, subscribe, get me to 100 subscribers, please. Then I'm going to celebrate with some sort of video. But for now, that is it. I'll leave you with the rest of Nico and Milano. What a legend. Take it easy, guys. And remember, stay at home. It's your boy, Louis21, signing off. Peace. Donald Trump, the President of the United States of America. Two years ago, I guess you could say I single-handedly got him elected when I was trolling on some American stream. Vote Trump, if you didn't vote Trump, you've made a mistake. That's right, Donald was elected all because of me, and since then he's gathered a massive array of supporters from across the world. Which takes us to now, Donald Trump is coming to the UK, and many of his loyal fans and admirers are coming out to support him. That's why I decided to head out and see what I've created. It all started today down in Whitehall. If you want to know why I'm so shocked, here's a quick history lesson. That march this guy was talking about was being held by the English Defence League and two months ago I trolled them and the video went everywhere. Since then I've had multiple death threats from the English Defence League and we want Donald Trump. We want Donald Trump. They were completely clueless to what I was doing. I had all these people on strings. But I wanted to see if these Trump supporters could count. So I asked them to describe Donald Trump in three words. Describe Trump in three words. Magic. That's the perfect three. Three words. Yeah. Make America great again. Make America great again. My favorite three words. I love that. God's man for the time we're living in. the flag. We love Donald Trump. We love Donald Trump. He ain't a racist. He ain't a racist. He's a truth teller. Come on, mate. Don't take the f son. I'm not, man. Yeah. I love the UK. What do you mean? Okay, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. What are you talking about? I'm not taking the mic. Okay.